And welcome back, everybody, to Fantasy Fridays here at the High Low Sports Podcast. Today, we're going to be looking at three players who I think are poised to have an underrated breakout season, some boom flex players, if you will, guys you might not expect to go off, but I think they are of really good matchups and have a really good opportunity. So we're going to start with the Sunday night showcase game as the Chargers take on the Bengals, and we're looking at Quinton Johnston, the receiver for the Chargers. Got a lot of heat lat for his performance last year as a rookie. This year, he has been anything but that. He has had limited time, hasn't got a whole lot of opportunities, but when he has, he has made the most of it. He's got like 20 catches and five touchdowns. He's a big play waiting to happen. Cincinnati's defense is ranked 21st against receivers and one of the worst pass defenses in the league. Primetime Justin Herbert has been incredibly solid throughout his career. They're 29th against quarterbacks, so I expect, expect him to be wheeling and dealing, working off of that play action with J.K. Dobbins and squad. Look for Quinton Johnson. He's not in a PPR league. He's not going to get you like seven catches for 70 yards. Not like a, he's going to be a three catches, 60 yards and a touchdown type of guy. And I think this is a defense where he has a lot of big boom opportunities. So look for Quinton Johnson as a surprise flex to add to your lineup. In the same vein, we're going to stick, we're going to stick with the West. We're going to go to the NFC West. We're going to go with Ricky Pearsall, the receiver for the 49ers. If he's still somehow available, yeah, go pick him up. He is definitely worth having. Since he has come back from his injury in the preseason and from getting shot, he has five points against Kansas City in his debut, 11 against Dallas, and then 20 against Tampa Bay last week, and now going against a Seattle defense, which is anything but stout against the pass. Last time the 49ers played the Seahawks, it was more or less a bit of a showcase. Both teams went back, both teams went back and forth with the Niners really cranking it up. So look for Ricky Pearsall to get involved as kind of that certified number two receiver beside Debo Samuel. I know Jawan Jennings is coming back as well. He's another option, but I do think Pearsall is going to start working his way into that kind of receiver two, maybe even like the lead receiver while Debo's being used as in the receiver back role. So pick up Ricky Pearsall if he's still available in your league. Last but not least, we're going to go to someone who I think this is a good PPR pickup, especially we're going to go with Rico Dowdle, the running back for the Cowboys. I know it's kind of an interesting pick. It's not like Rico Dowdle. I don't expect him to have exactly a boom game necessarily, but when I look at him, they basically said, you are the lead back now. You are the guy. So Houston's not exactly a weak run defense either. Like I, They're probably going to make things a little bit difficult for him. However, as the lead back in this offense led by Cooper Rush, I expect him to get kind of like that lower end RB2 flex opportunity, especially in a game where Houston's going to be bringing the pressure. Will Anderson, De- Daniel Hunter, we know what Tomiko Ryan's and squad can do. Look for Rico Dowdle involved a lot in the passing game. Last few weeks, he had eight points against Philadelphia, 21 against Dallas. He had 10 against Detroit, 19 against Pittsburgh, 13 against the Giants. And this was all kind of in spot duty as they hadn't really given him the range yet. So I expect him to get the reins and do try and protect Cooper Rush, especially in a Monday night setting. Look for a lot of opportunities, handoffs, rushes, everything like that. So these are three underrated players, off the radar players. I expect to have a big week this week in fantasy football. Let us know down below who you think is poised to have a big week this week, and we will see you all again next week. Thank <laughs> you.